welcome back to my channel. So to start off this look, I'm going to color correct using my brand new LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in green. I'm just going to dab that all over my acne redness. I just got this concealer, I hold it, and I feel like this concealer is quite a bit more pigmented than either of the NYX HD concealers, so I've been really loving it. I'm going to dab it out with my Real Techniques sponge to ensure that that product is evenly spread over everywhere that's red. And you can see right now that it did help cancel the red that was on my face, but I felt like some of the product got taken away by the sponge. So I'm just going to go through and add a little bit more to the places that are particularly red and then blend it out with my finger to ensure that none of that product gets taken off of my face. Next, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Professional, and I squeezed quite a bit out onto my finger on accident, so I had plenty of Professional to go around. I massaged it really well into the pores on my nose, my cheeks, my forehead. I even had excess to do my chin and fill in those smile lines, so I was pore free for the rest of the day after doing this makeup look. After that, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, the liquid. I recently exchanged this foundation for a lighter shade because I felt like the one that I had was just a tad bit too dark. And I'm really happy with this new color match. As you can see, I'm just putting the good majority of the product on my cheeks because that's where I like to have fuller coverage. I only put just a tad on my nose and my forehead. And I'm using the flat side of the Real Technique sponge to buff that into my skin because I feel like you get a fuller coverage with the flat side of the Real Technique sponge. So here I'm just going in with a second layer of foundation over my cheeks. After that I'm going to use my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in Ivory to highlight underneath my eyes and conceal. I'm bringing it up quite a bit higher on my nose, the size of my nose, to try and make my nose appear a little bit slimmer. I learned this technique on YouTube a couple days ago, so I've been trying it out. Now I'm just going to go through and buff all of that highlight slash concealer out with the opposite side of my Real Technique sponge ensuring to go back and forth like I said in my previous tutorial underneath the eyes to ensure that it is evenly distributed in those beautiful under eye wrinkles that I have. I also went through and set this found or this concealer with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And here I'm showing you a hair tie because I'm burning up with my soft boxes. Those bad boys put off a lot of heat, so I needed to put my hair back in a pony. Next, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer, and I'm going to create a very harsh line using the brush that came in Hula Bronzer um, underneath my cheekbones and at the temples of my forehead. I like to create this harsh line to show myself where the main part of my contour needs to be, where the majority of the product needs to lay, because after bronzing my face, I feel like I kind of lose the shadow that's naturally there where I put an ashier um, powder. So I just go through with the brush and make those very harsh lines, but I promise I don't leave it like that. Here I'm going through with my Morphe M527, which I just got in my Morphe Me box, I think last month. I feel like this was either Jaclyn Hill's or Nicole Concilio's favorite um, bronzer brush. But I really like it because it is tapered at the end, so it makes it a tad bit easier to blend out your bronzer. So I'm just going to hold the side of my face and really just blend that line out, always in an upward motion to distribute that product so it, the line's not so harsh. Here I'm going in with my Real Techniques Contour Brush and the shade Fawn from the original Anastasia Contour Palette to deepen up that line that I already had on my face while still leaving the rest of the bronzer blended out. And the shade Fawn is perfect 
in my opinion, for any kind of contour on my skin tone. I also like to use that to do a just a small contour on my nose. I'm still learning how to contour my nose, so sometimes I get a little crazy with the brown, and so I like to just try and use whatever excess product is left on my contour brush to contour the sides of my nose. Here I'm going through with the flat end of my Real Technique sponge and Laura Mercier loose setting powder, translucent setting powder, to bake underneath my contour. Next I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can get started on our eyes. Here I tried to open the palette and it beat me up. Not cool. So we're going to try that again. Today we're using the 35P palette by Morphe. First we're going to start off by taking that trusty E40 by Sigma and a light neutral brown shade and dust that all over our crease to act as a transition color from our lid to our brow bone. I'm not being any, I'm not being careful with this, being very sloppy, just lay the product because it's going to just be our transition chain. After that on a MAC 217 I'm going to take a slightly darker neutral brown color and focus that more on the outer V of my eye. I learned a really cool trick with my MAC 17 that if I hold it at the end of the brush and work in circular motions the shadow blends just a tad bit smoother. So that's what I've been doing. After that, I'm going to take this shimmery, light, shiny purple, spray my brush with some Max Flick Plus. The brush is a MAC 242, and I'm going to pack that shadow all over my lid, all the way to the outer V, focusing the good majority of the product on my inner lid. Spraying your brush with Max Fix Plus will make any shadow, whether it's matte or shimmer, just shine a tad bit more. And so that's why I like to add the Fix Plus. After packing that shadow all over my lid, I'm going to go in with a Sigma E25 and this dark purple matte color. And I'm going to buff that into the outer V of my eye, slowly moving product into the upper crease and um, towards the inner lid. After that, I'm going to take a Morphe E17 brush and this gold shadow from the Morphe 12S palette and highlight my inner corners. I'm going to curl my lashes with my very old lash curler and add some of the Tardiest Lash Paint Mascara. Of course I did that on my picture eye. Of course. <sighs> now I'm just going to let that mascara dry before I try to remove it. If I try to remove it right after it happens, it's just going to create a mess. So let it dry and then dust it off with a Q-tip. Here I'm going in with my House of Lashes lashes in the style Starlet. And using my finger, I'm going to place the lashes onto my lash band. And I know a lot of people use um, tweezers to push the lash down, but I just can't fathom having something that sharp next to my eye. So I like to use a back of a bobby pin to really press those lashes into my natural lashes and then go through and squeeze them together with my fingers. If you guys want me to do a video on how I apply my false lashes, just let me know in the comments below and I can get that recorded for you guys. After applying my lashes, I'm going to go through with this uh, purple, dark purple shade from, Morph from the palette on a Morphe G28 and just press that really tightly to my lash line. This color is um, sh has a tad bit of a shine to it, so I wanted that focus to be right up next to my lash line. Next, I'm going in with my Morphe M507 and a, that same dark purple shade we used on the upper lid to buff that shimmer shade out across my entire lash line. I make the funniest face when I do my lower lashes. Here, I'm adding Tarte Inner Rim Brightener to my waterline to make those eyes pop just a little bit more. So here is the finished eye look. 
Now we'll go through and finish up the rest of the face by taking that bakage off using Real Techniques Multitasking Brush. That contour is sharp. Now we're gonna go through and do my favorite part, which is highlight using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Gleam. I mixed together Starburst and Crushed Pearl using her A27 brush and just highlighted the crap out of my cheekbones, my upper lip, and brush it up onto my forehead a tad. Here I'm going through with Benefit Dandelion Brush and my Morphe E4 to add a little bit of blush to the tops of my cheeks. Today I'm going to use the Tarte Lip Sculptor, Sculptor in the shade VIP, which is pretty neat because it has a lipstick on one side, which is more of a satin finish. And then on the opposite side is a lip gloss. So it's kind of like getting two products in one, which I think is awesome. And this color is gorgeous. I'm just going to apply that lip gloss to my lips and that completes the look. I hope you guys like it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in my next one.